Okay, so here we have the fantastic marketplace. Comes as two sheets. You've got the uh, the big structure here. This is by most uh, by far the most impressive piece. Um, big kind of overhang canopies and big long bench and uh, yeah, that's a really great piece. And then you've got the two kind of mini mini market stalls which come with some boxes and some bits of scatter and a couple of benches. So here we go. We've got. Um, I think we'll start with the uh, the big structure. Um, as it's so cool and what I'm going to do really I think with this I'm, apart from the barrels here which basically uh, are covered on the dedicated uh, scatter terrain video I'm just going to pop out this everything from this main structure to build this big mean market. Okay, so here you go. You've got uh, a front, a front and a back, and you've got two sides and the little bits that go across the top. So I'm gonna move across these out of the way here. Uh, and starting at the front, I'm just gonna take this one here. And because you can see I've got blue cloth on one side and I've got red cloth on another. So I'm gonna to wanna to line up the side with the red cloth on it. Uh, and I'm gonna to wanna to pop that uh, on here. Now, it, they do go in a certain way. Because this is the front, we want the, the uh, the market stall to kind of angle up here so you'll see there's an angle on here um, and so uh, yeah so you, you really want to kind of make sure that you get that round the right way it only assembles the one way and you pop that in there okay same with the other side you've got this angle coming upwards towards the front so we're going to want to do the same thing and we're going to want to pop that over there as well and then lastly at the back you want to make sure that you line up the red side with the red side and the blue side, well, the blue side will line up when you do that. So I just pop that in there. And there you have it. A little bit of jiggling around to get it all in place. Uh, this slot over here was a little bit tight. Probably should have adjusted it, but um, uh, it's all come together very, very nicely. So lastly then, what you're gonna do is you are going to basically, um, on this side you have, uh, and I forgot to pop out this little bit here. Remember not to throw away these little bits of wood and scatter, they look cool. Uh, so on this side you've got this which lays across the top like that. And then for the other side, again lining up the blue with the blue, you've got this little overhang canopy piece here which um, we'll just, it's got some half uh, cuts in it and we're just gonna, we don't really want to bend this much, a bit like the roofs, just want to give it a very, very slight natural curve. So it has this kind of like dip in it, like that maybe. And then what you do is you can just rest that on top of there and then that makes kind of the top of your, your canopy. I might want to bend that just a little bit more to give it a bit more of a hang. Like so. And I really like, I mean, I really like this particular uh, market structure. I think it's, it, I think it looks really cool on, on, on the, uh, on the battlefield. Um, and if you're having a fight outside and your guys are like, it starts to rain, you can move it into the market. You can just very quickly lift these off and, you know, still get access to what's going on inside, which is really cool. And it's good for putting miniatures inside as well when you're setting up a little display. Now there is a little thing that goes inside here, uh, which is this nice long bench here. So I'm just going to pop that out. Okay, uh, and, and it's very simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna slot these two ends in the sides to make the bench. Like so, and then you there's this little chopping boardy kind of whatever it is that can go on top. Uh, and you can see here that you can place that at the front of your, your market store inside, which then allows you to have the, you know, have a really cool kind of couple of miniatures behind there, selling their selling their wares, um, and I think that is uh, really really cool. Uh, what else do you get? Just move this off to one side. Uh, you also get a couple of barrels, which you can 
Uh, I don't need to show you how to put together because they're on the dedicated uh, terrain scatter video. And you've got some extra little bits of wood. When these barrels are made up, you can pop those in there as well. And like I say, there's lots of little bits and pieces that you might want to put you know, in your barrels or whatever, little pop-out pieces that just add a little bit of texture um, to, your, um, to your set, as it were. But that is your rather cool large market stand. Okay, so next, what have we got? Well, we have got um, we have got the two smaller um, markets, uh, one in each color. We've got the green and the red one, and this one comes with some little cargo crates and uh, again some barrels and some little a scatter, uh, as it were. So um, this is also on a little uh, one of these sheets that kind of comes in half like that. I felt I need to do that. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, you've got two different two different market stally bits here. Um, okay, so what I'll do, I'll show you how to put one together. Um, the canopies are slightly different, um, uh, like uh, the jagged bits, so they don't look exactly the same, and obviously they're a different colour as well. Um, but otherwise, the assembly and everything else is exactly the same. So um, on this one, we've got some barrels, a uh, dedicated scatter video to show you how to put that together. And you've got these little crates as well, which are also on a few different things. So. Um, yeah, they'll be in the dedicated scatter video, but let me show you how to put this together here. There are some really small, tiny bits to pop out here. Um, again, luckily my wicked fingernails managed to get uh, through it, but um, the, uh, yeah, you might want a little pencil or something to pop, up, pop, pop those out. Uh, yeah, and if you're really kind of OCD about it, all these little bits and pieces, stick it in a little baggie. You can put those in your little crates and stuff. They might look like little bits of fruit or whatever uh, on the market stall. So this is pretty simple, really. What you've got here, oh, I've missed a bit. I've actually missed this little bit here. Okay, so you've got this base piece here, which you're gonna lift up like so, with a little half cut on it. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to slide that into here. Now with this construction, I've kind of done it at a kind of a, uh, a kind of cranky angle. I've, I've tried to make the market stall um, look um, kind of uh, hobbled together a little bit. So you'll see that when I put this piece in the back, like here, it actually forces the market stall stand out at a bit of an angle like this. It's supposed, absolutely supposed to do that, okay? Because I want it to be kind of um, riggedy and jiggedy. I don't think either of those are words. Um, uh, and, uh, and again, with these little boxes, they're purposely cut kind of in a certain way to make it look, you know, um, uh, riggedy and jiggedy. They're, they're my words now, I'm having them. Uh, you just put a couple of bends through the top of there and that sits as the market stall. Now with this front one, I would then really over bend that to the point where it's too, too bent. Pop it on. And then just pull it forward until it looks like gravity has a hold of that. And that's your little market stall. And there's enough room in here to put some of these little uh, uh, like boxes and bits and pieces on. So you could grab maybe one of these smaller boxes like this. So these are your little, uh, what do you call those, baskets? What do we call them? Box crate. Yeah, like little little box crate that will go in there and you can put your vegetable bubbles and things like that in there, which would be really, really cool. You can fit a couple in that way. You can have them standing upwards. So you've uh, obviously, like I say, you've got another one of those on here as well with some more barrels and some crates and stuff. You do on each one of these as well get uh, a little bench here, uh, very similar to the uh, the the much larger uh, bench that you get in the um, in the the, the the bigger market stall uh, stand. Um, and it comes with one of these as well. I'm pretty sure I, I might have this on the dedicated uh, scatter video as well. Uh, but yeah, you can put that in front of that if you wanted or beside or behind or whatever. So um, you've got that. And like I say, you've got some barrels and bits and pieces on here. Um, you've got a little chopping board knife here. Uh, whoops. 
a little chopping board knife here, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, you do really get um, uh, lots of bits and pieces and lots of little bits of scatter and so forth with your uh, market, as it were. So there you go, that is your market stall. This, that, and another one.